So there's been something I've been thinking about a lot today. And I kind of wanted to make a video and just throw it on camera so I could think about it again later. And that is cigars and movies. And the thing I've been thinking about is how much having a cigar in a movie affects things in the movie. I'll give you an example. So if you're a cigar smoker, seeing a cigar in a movie kind of helps you enjoy that scene more because you start to get curious. I wonder what they're smoking and all that stuff. Plus, it's always fun to see someone enjoying something that you enjoy. But then I started thinking about other things. I started thinking about, first off, is the cigar originally written into the script for that character? Is that something the actor or actress brings into it because they enjoy them and they think it adds? Is it something the director wants to do? And I, I believe it has probably more to do with the actor's choice, and I'll tell you why. Movies are fully based on pacing. There's a pacing aspect to them, right? You gotta keep things moving, and then when it's appropriate, you gotta slow them down. And as cinematic as cigars are, right? Like, it's just very cinematic to have a guy talking, and he's talking about the greatest thing the devil ever did was tell everybody he didn't exist, you know, or whatever he says. Um, whatever the line is, this cigar just seems to add something to the scene. It adds something to their character. But if you notice, a lot of times there isn't much actual puffing on the cigar because it takes time. And why hold on somebody unless they're contemplating something, right? So if someone's talking and then they just go, You know, look how much time that took. Like, you had to literally watch me puff that cigar for two or three seconds, right? So, a lot of times what they do is the person will put the cigar in their mouth and hold it, and it'll be like a reaction or something. Or, right when they're doing this, they'll cut there, or they'll um, let them get the puff out and start their, they'll go back to them, they'll puff the smoke out as they're talking. But for the most part, they have to figure out how they want to mitigate that. The only time it really works to take the full puffs is A, if the person is lighting the cigar, or B, if, if it's, it's a contemplative scene. The person's thinking and they're just like, you know, if I quit my job, I will have the time to spend with you and the kids. But if I don't, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so that's another thing I was thinking about, the pacing and all that stuff. And the last thing I was thinking is how funny it is. When I used to watch movies growing up, before I ever smoked a cigar or anything, I just didn't, like, I was always like, it's cool to see them, I guess. But if you're not in the lifestyle, you just don't give a shit. So I was just kind of like, huh, look, a cigar. Uh, kind of the same, like, if you're not into, like, fast cars and then you're watching a movie and some dude's like get in and it's like a Bugatti someone who's into cars will be like whoa Bugatti but <laughs> that's the same thing it's like oh cool a car nice but the person into cigars somebody picks one up oh cool an Ashton VSG nice it's a good one I don't know wanted to talk a little bit about cigars and movies uh, different aspects that aren't usually talked about that I've seen in videos. I usually see things like different, you know, movie scenes with cigars in it or whatever. But um, this is some stuff I was thinking about because there's a lot that probably goes into that. I wonder if that's in the contract, you know? I wonder if that's something they add in or if that's like a, let me, let me do one with this cigar scene. The other thing I wonder is if you notice in a movie, a lot of times they can light up the cigar super fast. So I wonder if they pre-light it let it get to that already toasted phase, and then when they cut to the actor, they're already just kind of like burning it. Because that takes a lot of time, and you almost never see anybody toasting unless there's a lot of cuts, and then they can just have it in their mouth. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Well, in case you're curious, this is a CAO Brasilia. Band came off like shit, but it's a pretty decent cigar. Um, notes of chocolate and every puff, <laughs> pretty good. Good, good for today. There's a storm moving in, but it's not here yet. 
windy. It's like 71 degrees. It's perfect. Perfect for this. Even though it's burning a little wonky, it's not too bad. Yeah. Just wanted to bring that up because I thought it was interesting. Um, leave a comment on a time in a movie or show that you were really intrigued by the cigar. Either wanting to know what it was or just in how it was utilized. And I'll give you a couple of my favorites. Going way back, there's an old Twilight Zone episode called Print Devil. And a lot of the Twilight Zone episodes have people with cigars because that was just a lot more common back then, it seems like. A lot of people smoked and everything. Uh, but in Print Devil, he had the like, crooked cigar. And I forget the company that makes it, but I have seen those now. I've never had one. But the fact that they gave that devil character the crooked cigar, I thought was a really nice touch. I thought it added to his charisma in a way. Because it was like, oh, look at this. It's almost like a Willy Wonka thing. It's like it adds something to it, right? Something kind of whimsical, I guess, or whatever. But um, there's that. There's countless Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. There's the silhouette in the beginning of The Predator where he's lighting this big-ass Churchill, but it's just his silhouette. You haven't even seen him yet, but you know, you know who he is. And he's just lighting it, and it's like you can see the silhouette of the smoke against the background and everything. Um, there's Last Action Hero where he's talking to this guy at his doorstep. And he's doing his lines, but he's really good about, you know, like puffing on it and talking at the same time. It's a much thinner ring gauge than this, so he's able to do it better. I think he actually delivers a line while he has it in his mouth. How you hit the right? Yeah, I can't do it with this cigar, but he says something like, how are you going to snap your fingers if I break your thumbs? <laughs> um, it's a movie I saw couple months back that sound of freedom uh it was all right i mean it wasn't like super wasn't super into it but there was one character that every time you met the guy he had a cigar in his mouth um and that's something else i want to bring up cigars and movies also tell you a lot about the character because um usually they tell you if they're you know powerful if they're rich if they're um retired or have a bunch of time on their hands or just kind of how they go day to day some people in movies almost look like they have their daily smokes and everything and that's pretty cool so that's just kind of the stuff i was thinking of today thought thought some of you might find that interesting um i am interested in your thoughts though uh also i just recently broke 100 subscribers which i thought was pretty cool i wasn't expecting that i've been stuck at like 97 for couple months now because I've been so bad about uploading so I'm trying to fix that and uh, this past week I think I went up to 101 subscribers so appreciate you guys thanks if you're new here thanks um, I'm gonna start doing more videos as I'm trying to do now uh, so yeah I'll catch you guys in the next video